Hi, I'm Sudeep Theroy, and I am an associate professor at the Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology in Singapore. My lab focuses on the differentiation and function of cilia. Cilia are tiny hair-like organelles present on the surface of most eukaryotic cells. Cilia can be motile, such as those found in our respiratory tracts that beat continuously to clear mucus, or immotile and dedicated to transmit sensory signals such as those found in our eyes and nose for a sense of sight and smell. A few years ago, through genetic studies in the zebrafish embryo, we discovered that the transcription factor FOXJ1 is the master regulator of motile cilia differentiation. More recently, we performed a large-scale functional genomic screen for the targets of FOXJ1 and discovered the CCDC11 gene, which encodes a coil-coil containing protein as one of the targets of FOXJ1. Hi, I'm Vijay Narsimhan and I am a postdoctoral fellow with Sudhita Roy. Together with my colleague Shiba and Suri, we studied the function of CCDC11 in cilia using genetic analysis in zebrafish embryos. We first determined the expression of CCDC11 using in situ hybridization technique and found that the gene was expressed in tissues that differentiate motile cilia. CCDC11 was expressed in the kidney tubules, floor plate or the spinal canal and the KV or Kufa vesicles. KV is analogous to the ventral load of the mammals and beating cilia in these structures drives a signaling cascade that determines the laterality of the visceral organs. We use microinjection technique to introduce morpholinos into zebrafish embryos that inhibits the function of CCDC11 gene in zebrafish. We found that when CCDC11 activity was compromised in zebrafish embryos, various phenotypes that are characteristic of defects in the motile cilia were observed, namely curved body axis, otter defects, hydrocephaly, and prominent left-right asymmetry defects were observed in the embryos. We contacted our collaborator Professor Ahmed Umran to investigate the role of CCDC11 as a potential candidate gene for primary ciliary dyskinesia. Hi, I'm Ahmed. I'm I'm actually the head of a research lab that is very much interested in primary cilia dyskinesia and I'm a pediatrician caring for patients you know, with this kind of rare lung disease. Hi, I'm Ray Mechtelet and I'm a PhD student in Professor Oman's lab. Because we were informed by Sudip de Roy that there is a candidate gene, CCDC11, um, that is likely uh, to be a good gene um, for responsible for primary cilia dyskinesia, we investigated our uh, total genome scans of several consanguineous families and, and, ident and identified in this family on chromosome 18 an area of homozygosity by descent. And RIM went ahead and tried to test whether this gene might be related to the disease. Okay, indeed, we have found in one of these patients a uh, number of P1069 and homozygous nonsense mutation, changing a cytos into a thymine, resulting in a codon stop and predicting an early termination of the protein. The 12 year old male actually suffered from mild respiratory symptoms like chronic rhinitis and some cough, and he also displayed cytos inversus. So you see that the heart is actually on the right and the stomach is actually also on the right. So we have a complete mirror image. In order to confirm the loss of function mutation we have identified, we have studied uh, the localization of the protein CCDC11, performing immunofluorescence analysis and using antibodies targeting the CCDC11 protein. And we have found in control cells that the CCDC11 has an axonemal localization. It is localized throughout the whole axonemal length. And in the respiratory epithelial cells of the patient, we have found that no CCDC11 was detectable in the cilia. And this confirms the loss of function mutation we have identified. In order to discern the defect caused by CCDC11 deficiency, we analyzed cross sections by transmission electron microscopy of CCDC11 deficient cilia, and we have found no observable ultrastructural defect. And consistently, when performing immunofluorescence analysis, studying the localization of outer dining arm proteins, inner dining arm proteins, or nexin dining regulatory complexes proteins, we have found that all of these proteins localize normally in CCDC11 mutant cilia. Immunofluorescence analysis shows that zebrafish CCDC11 protein localizes to the axonem and the base of the kidney cilia, which is very similar to the localization of CCDC11 protein in human respiratory cilia. However, 
the protein localized only to the base of the KV cilia and also to the base of the spinal cord cilia. To evaluate the effect of CCDC level knockdown on the motility of cilia in zebrafish, we performed live imaging of wild type and CCDC level morpholino injected embryos. We found that the motility of the cilia in the kidney of CCDC level morphins were only marginally impaired when compared to the wild type cilia. However, we found out that the rotational motion of cilia in the KV and the float plate were strongly impaired. We performed transmission electron microscopy to determine the effect of loss of CCDC level on the ultrastructure of KV cilia. At the ultrastructural level, there appeared to be loss of outer dining arm from the CCDC level deficient KV cilia. Our findings demonstrate that CCDC level has a conserved essential role in cilia of the vertebrate left-right organism. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first ciliary component which has a differential localization and function in different kinds of motile cilia. Thank you and happy reading.